Hello everyone, I am back to do an updated Open Broadcaster software tutorial. This is going to be the updated version that I did a few years ago because the process has changed a little bit, uh, but it's still pretty easy if you follow the steps. Um, for this demonstration, I'm going to be using a virtual machine in Windows Sandbox, which is a really cool Windows 10 feature in Windows 10 Pro and higher that lets you essentially create a clean copy of Windows 10 that you can do pretty much anything you want with and when you close it it will reset itself and you can open it back up and it, it, it'll be clean and all your changes will be lost uh, but anyway it's the perfect tool to use to demonstrate OBS so that's what we're gonna do so the first thing that you're gonna want to do is you're going to want to download OBS. I will put the link to the site in the description and you'll want to download the file. Um, for the sake of this demonstration I am going to configure my host computer which is Windows 10 to use Ivona so you'll hear this voice Spe speech mode talk and the virtual machine is using Microsoft David so ho ho hopefully that will help you to distinguish between the two computers so what I've already done, I've already installed OBS inside of the of the virtual machine. I have enabled NVDA. I've uh, downloaded that as well. And here we go. So I'm going to go over to the virtual machine here. Windows Sandbox. Windows Sandbox dialog. And I'm going to hit Alt Space. Restore unavailable. Moves. Min maximize. And maximize the window. Windows Landscape. Sandbox dialog. Pane. Input capture window. And here we are. Start window. Desktop list. Recycle bin one of three. OBS Studio three of three. So let's open up o OBS Studio. OBS two seven point one point three, sixty four bit. Windows. Profile. Untitled scenes. Untitled window. Auto configuration wizard dialog. The auto configuration wizard will determine the best settings based on your computer specs and internet speed. This can be run at any time by going to the Tools menu. Usage information specify what you want to use the program for. Auto Configuration Wizard Dialog. Next button. Now if you, okay, so. Optimize for streaming. Recording is secondary radio button checked. This is the wizard that you'll use that comes up the first time you uh, run it. You can go through this. I'm honestly tempted to just skip it because I'm going to configure things manually. Next, cancel OBS 27.1. So, Audio mixer window. This is the Grouping. main window. If you tab around, scene transitions window. Tra Duration sp oh. transition combo box fade down. Duration spin button one. Controls window. S start re start streaming checkbox not checked. So we have. Start streaming. Start recording checkbox not checked. Start recording. Start virtual camera checkbox not virtual checked. Virtual camera. There's a lot of stuff in here that uh, I don't know how to configure. Um, and I'm not really too interested in configuring it. You, you can do lots of things with scenes and capture different windows and things like that. I am primarily interested in capturing audio. Now, what's nice about this program is, by default, it will capture your audio of your computer and your microphone. So let me tab over to Settings. Studio mode checkbox not checked. Settings button. And hit Enter. Studio uh, settings. Actually, I guess we'll have to hit the space bar. If it will. Oops. Grouping. General grouping. Grouping. Okay. Cancel button enter. So if you shift tab around, it'll kind of read things. This program is not the most usable with NVDA, but I'm, I'm going to tab. It says nothing, but we are in the list of options. So if you down arrow. List. Stream. Output. Stream. General. All right. So under general, we have the following. Grouping. General grouping. Right. Language combo box English down. I'm going to just 
I'm just tabbing. Theme combo box dark, Theme. default, automatically check for updates on startup checkbox checked, open stats dialog on startup checkbox not checked, output grouping, show confirmation dialog when starting streams checkbox not checked, show confirmation dialog when stopping streams checkbox not checked, show confirmation dialog when stopping recording checkbox not checked, automatically record when streaming checkbox not checked. You may want to check this if you're going to stream, you may want to make an archive. Checked. Let's check that. Keep recording when stream stops checkbox not checked. Again, you might want to check that. Checked. Just to keep the local recording going. Source alignment snapping grouping. Source alignment snapping checkbox checked. That's visual, I'm pretty sure. Snap sensitivity spin button. Snap sources to snap sources, snap sources, projectors grouping. Make projectors always on top. Save projectors on exit check. System tray grouping. System tray checkbox checked. This allows you to run the program from the system tray. Minimize to system tray when started checkbox not checked. Always minimize to system tray instead of taskbar checkbox not checked. So if you don't want it to appear in the alt tab list, you can, you can put it there. You can tell it to start recording and then you're off to the races. Preview grouping. Hide overflow checkbox not ch overflow always visit show overflow draw safe area importers grouping. Search known locations for scene collections when imp Okay, so a lot of this stuff is visual. I'm going to ignore it. Let's just Studio tab enable over. portraits show pre multi show scene Let's draw see. multi okay can apply. Sorry, so we want grouping. to tab over to the lists here and list. Now. Output stream stream. Okay, this is where you go if you want to stream. So let's show you how this works combo box twitch down So you can stream to twitch YouTube RTMPS YouTube Facebook live Facebook live. That's kind of cool rest ream dot io Twitter show yeah. all uncanny dot gg a screen von live slash I n stage ib v loud vimeo vimm vert wish volume dot com WASD.TV, Web.TV, Whalebone.TV, XLoveCam.com. Yeah, there's lots of different services. I'm going to hit home. Custom, Africa T, Angel Thumb, Apparat, API. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of these. I'm, I'm, I'm going to hit Y. You now, you streamer, YouTube HLS, YouTube RTMPS, uh, YouTube HL, you streamer. Oop, hold on. YouTube HLS, YouTube RTMPS. So that's the one you want. Combo box Twitter down. Oop, well, okay. Honestly, the easiest way to do this is to press your down arrow. Uncanny dot Twitter, Twitch, tw on a screen, Von La, V Loud, you now, you streamer, YouTube HLS, YouTube RTMPS. YouTube RTMPS, that's the one that seems to work the best. Combo box primary YouTube and just server down. Leave that alone. Connect account. Recommended. Button and ignore streaming service setting recommendations checkbox not checked. Use stream key. Advanced. Button enter. Okay, this is what you want. So I'm going to hit enter. Now, it, it, it doesn't say anything, but if I shift tab. Ign ignore streaming. Connect account. Get stream key button HTTP. Show button enter. Edit protected blank. This edit field is where you paste the stream key. I'm going to go back over to my main computer here. I'm going to hit Control Alt Pause Break to get out of the virtual machine here. Landscape. Are using your microphone tool tip. All right. Audacity. YouTube Windows. Audacity. YouTube Break. YouTube Break. So blank. I already have the main website for YouTube open in the Brave browser. I'm going to go down by button until it says, let's see. Guide, what skip, search, search, create button. Create, and I'm going to hit the space upload bar. Upload video link, visited link, go live link, link. All right, so. Link, visited link, link, upload video. The first item is to upload a video file. Link, link, go live. And the second is go live. Now, I believe you'll have to set this up. It's been a very long time since I've set it up. I'm not sure if that has changed or not. When I set up live streaming, I think it asked me to verify my phone number and do some other things. It, it should be pretty easy. Link, link, create post. Link, link, go live. Yeah, all right. So let's hit go live. Create button. And what I'm going to do here. YouTube Creator Studio. 
is I'm gonna hit tab. Account profile, stream, webcam button, webcam, manage button, minute, send feedback, edit button, likes. Now what we have. Zero viewers waiting, no previous head, public, privacy, game, gaming, category, Q and title, button, viewers will be able okay. to connect, blank, button, button, send feedback, button, button, manage, button, button, webcam, button, button, stream, menu, button, submenu, account profile, photo, button, stream. So we want to click on stream. Stream. Button. Button webcam. Button. Button manage. Button. Button send feed. Button. Blank. Connect streaming software to go live. All right. Now it says connect streaming software to go live. Viewers will be able to find your stream once you go live. Button stream setup help. Title. Q and day October 10th, 2021. Now this is where you want to type in your information for the stream. Category. Gaming. Game. Privacy. Public viewers waiting zero likes zero button edit start sending us your video from your streaming software to go live all right so you can edit that so button edit what you'd want to do is hit edit edit settings heading level one edit settings and then tab blank add a title that describes your stream type it to mention a channel section required multi line editable Q and day October tenth two thousand twenty one so th this is the title so each time you want to make a live stream you'll want to go in here and type in the title and the description. Blank. Tell viewers more about your stream. Type it to mention a channel, section multi-line editable ask me questions, and I will answer them as best I can for the Chrome extension that automatically reads YouTube live chats. Right, so that's the description that I put in there for the last live stream I did. Edit video visibility status button, edit video visibility status, restrictions, none. You can set up restrictions, you can set what it's vi visible to. I, I believe by default it's all public and that's probably what you'd want. Category. Add your stream to a category so viewers can find it more easily. Gaming. Game title. Optional. Game title. Optional. Edit as auto complete none. Thumbnail. Select for viewers attention. So you can modify the category. I don't bother with that. I think I put that on gaming a, a long time ago. Game, game, gaming. Add your stream to gaming. You hit enter Dialogue. Gaming. List. Gaming. People and blogs not selected. Comedy not selected. So, yeah, if you hit enter on that, you get into a list. You can just up and down arrow through that to get to where you want to go. And then hit enter. I'm going to hit escape. And list, when list, you're done. List. No next, no previous. Oops, it's going to get me stuck in the list. List gaming. It? List game. Edit. Press escape Game again. title. Off gaming. So once you're done with all game, that, game, thumbnail, let's go down. select viewers, link, learn more, list button up, playlists, list button upload, thumbnail, playlist, add your stream to one or more playlists, link, learn more, select, audience, this video is set to not made for kids, set by you, regardless of your location, you are legally required to comply with the Children's Online Privacy Protection Act, COPA, and slash or other laws, you are required to tell us whether your videos are made for kids, Link what's content made for kids. Yeah, this is the YouTube made for kids thing, which I have turned off because I think it restricts chat and some other features. Link learn more. Radio button not checked. Yes, it's made for kids. Radio button not checked. Features like personalized ads and live chat won't be available on live streams made for kids. Radio button not checked. Link learn more. Radio button checked. No, it's not made for kids. Button heading level three age restriction advanced. So you can set up age restriction. Button show less. Paid promotion. If you accepted anything of value from a third party to make your stream, you must let us know. So a lot of this stuff y you can modify or you can leave as is, but what you want to do after you have typed in the info. Cancel button. Save button unavailable. Is hit the save button once you're done. Cancel. Now I'm going to cancel, cancel this. Bu cancel button edit. Start sending us. Because what, what, what we want is right underneath the live stream info tab selected stream settings tab analytics tab stream health stream key select stream key edit read only default stream key Our stream key Pick button show stream key if you hit the show key hide stream key it will show it button reset button hide stream key it will show it for a certain number of seconds i believe button reset button hide stream but button copy show stream key button reset button show stream key so it just hit it, it if you go back to the Edit field up here. Seven. Stream key. Paste in encoder. Edit read only KGG zero. Right. This is the stream key. Now you don't want to give this out to random people, which is why I'm not going to. Because if anyone has this, they can live stream to your channel pretty much whenever they want to. Now there is a reset button here that will reset the key 
and generate a new one which essentially makes the prior one invalid. So if your key was taken or misused, you can reset it here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to hit show the stream show key. stream key button reset button copy and copy. And if I read the clipboard, KGG0 right, it reads the it reads the key out. Button data is not encrypted. Stream URL let it read only RTMP. This is the button copy. Button URL. data is not encrypted. Backup server URL. It's telling me that the data is not encrypted. I really don't care too much. Copy button. Enable DVR toggle button pressed. Um, if you move by buttons, you can enable the DVR, which I believe lets people rewind and fast forward your stream as it's in progress. I, I would leave that on. 360 degrees video toggle button not pressed. That's a video thing. Menu button submit. Closed captions toggle button not pressed. Closed captions. You can turn those on. Unlist live replay once stream ends. Toggle button not pressed. Unlist live replay when stream ends. Live chat mode selection button collapsed. Heading left. More options. So essentially that's all there is to it. So you want to get your key off of this site and then each time you live stream you want to type in the appropriate information. Now I'm going to close the browser. Windows Sandbox dialog. And we're going to go back into Windows Sandbox. Rest, Mac, Windows. Lance. Show button. Edit protected blank. I'm going to paste this key in here. Show, get stream key button, connect account, ignore stream, use stream key, advance, okay button, can, apply button. So we have that typed in. Combo box. The only other thing you might want to change in here. List. Audio. Output. Output. Grouping. Output mode combo box simple down. Streaming grouping. Video bitrate spin button zero. And this is video stuff I just... Streaming combo box software, X264. You should be able to leave this stuff alone. Audio bitrate combo box 160 down. Enable advanced encoder setting, recording grouping. Recording path edit selected C, users WDAG utility account videos. So this is where your video files will be stored. By default, they are stored in the videos folder. Browse button enter. You can browse if you want to change that. Generate file name without space checkbox not checked. Recording quality combo box same as stream down. Recording format combo box MKV down. This is the format. MKV should be fine by default, but you can choose TS. Something else. M MOV. MOV. MP4. MP4. FLV. There's a whole bunch of them. MKV will be accepted by YouTube just fine. MOV. MKV, custom muxer settings edit blank, enable replay buffer checkbox not I leave this stuff alone because I don't know what it does. Okay, can apply. Now the only other thing you might want to change in here is under audio. List, video, audio, grouping, general grouping, Sa channel, sample rate combo box 48k hertz down, channels combo box stereo down. Let's set to stereo. Global audio devices grouping. Desktop audio combo box default down. Desktop audio 2 combo box disabled down. I believe you can set up multiple sound cards and turn them on and off, which might be useful if you want to capture audio from di um, different places. But by default, the default settings should record your microphone if you have one plugged in, as well as your computer audio. Mic slash auxiliary audio combo. Combo box alt down. What? Oop, mic right. slash auxiliary. Oh, mic slash auxiliary audio combo box default down. Right. This is your microphone audio. I would leave that alone un unless you need need to change it. Mic slash auxiliary audio two combo box to mic slash auxiliary audio three combo box to say mic slash auxiliary audio four meters grouping peak meter time meters. That's visual. Advanced group. Disable Windows Audio Ducking Check Box Check. OK button enter. So that's pretty much all you have to do. So now if you hit OK. OBS 2 7 point exit button. At this point you're good to go. Um, I don't know how to do any, anything with video, but for th the things that I want to do, this works just fine. So if we tab over. Audio, vol, mute properties for mute desktop audio check box not checked. You have the controls for different things. So maybe you just want to capture your microphone. You can mute your desktop audio, which will mute your computer sounds. Volume slider for desktop audio. 
slider 0.0 db you can change the volume properties for desktop audio button you can modify the properties controls window so let's just tap mute here properties for mic slash volume slider mute mic slash auxiliary checkbox not checked this also lets you mute your microphone tab here grouping Scene transition duration spin button. Now I'm d I don't mess with these. Controls start recording checkbox not checked. Okay, the two checkboxes we are interested in are start streaming and start recording. Start streaming will obviously begin to live stream to YouTube, which is what I don't want to do right now because I don't I don't really want to go live, but I do want to record. Start virtual cam. Start recording. Now, I'm not sure if this virtual machine will let me record, but let's hit start recording. Start recording. No sources dialog. It looks like you haven't added any video sources yet, so you will only be outputting a blank screen. Are you sure you want to do this? You can add sources by clicking the plus icon under the sources box in the main window at any time. Yes button enter. So it just... No sources di Okay. No button enter. So it's asking me if I want to add any video sources. Uh, uh, otherwise, I'll just be outputting a blank screen. I can't see, so... Yes I'm button. I'm going to do yes. OBS 27 point. Start ver... Stop recording checkbox checked. So it says stop recording. Start streaming checkbox not checked. We are not streaming. Stop re Start virtual. Studio mode. Ch settings. Exit button. Audio mixer window. So Properties. at this point, you can record and do all the things that you might want to do. Volumes, mute desk. Properties, volume. Mute. Now, what I don't know. Grouping, scene trend, duration, controls window. Stop record. Start streaming. Stop recording. Checkbox check. What I don't know is how to pause the recording. That's what I haven't worked out yet. Um, but yeah, so as long as you are recording, it will capture your audio, so you could do videos on YouTube, or you could talk, or make a podcast, or anything that you might want to do, and when you're done... Start, stop recording, checkbox, not recording. checked. Stopping recording. And start recording. It will change back to start recording. At this point, I'm going to tab over to exit. Stu set, exit desktop and the program closes now if to get to your video file run let's go to the video folders I'm going to go to the run dialog with Windows R type in videos text videos window items view list tree view level and one this PC we have uh, well maybe didn't do it status items view list 20 21 10 16 18 46 52 row 1 column 1 1 of 1 yep so it uh names it based off of the date and time so now if i hit enter it should play in i think groove music or something like that i'm not sure what the default is in windows i think it's group music let's see let me alt tab windows media player row Windows media to learn player. more custom settings radio button recommended settings it wants me to set up Windows Media Player that's fine to learn finish button finish. Up. dialogue in videos window OBS two seven point now start, start virtual stop, stop recording, recording check check box box checked. checked so it says stop recording start, start streaming, streaming check checkbox box not, not checked check. videos streaming. Windows stop up now play now I made a mistake there since I'm recording this in Audacity my mixer is on so it's capturing the audio twice once from the default sound card and again through the mixer so that was a mistake on my part now playing but that's essentially how you do it videos with so desktop I'm going to shut down windows sandbox shut down shut su shut windows dialog if you shut down this remote computer no one can no yeah, yes but just telling me if I windows sandbox dialog the connection to the sandbox was lost error zero X with feedback hub yeah feedback right, so I had just closed that down um, but that's basically how you run VMware, or not VMware. Why I'm I'm thinking, navigating to new feedback. Uh, why Start is that open? feedback hub. Feedback. We're gonna close that. Windows sandbox not responding. Yeah. Audacity Windows sand Windows Microsoft Windows dialog. The application is not responding. Cancel but end pro cancel but end process. Audacity. We're gonna close Windows sandbox. Um, that is how you use OBS. And hopefully you found this useful. Um, if you do have a mixer of some sort, make sure it's not capturing your 
computer audio um, because as you just heard, OBS will also capture that if it's on either that or you'll want to mute the desktop audio in OBS if you're using hardware to capture audio. But I think from, for what most people want to do, OBS works quite well because all you need is a good quality microphone and it will capture your audio on your computer without having to do anything um, different or a a anything else that, that might involve programs or hardware mixers or things like that. Um, and then basically once you're done, you can take that file and upload it to YouTube. YouTube will ac accept it happily and you're off to the races. So I hope this has been helpful. As always, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments and I will talk to you later. Bye.